Is marriage honorable today in our communities? No, 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 it's not. You, the women now in our community don't even honor marriage. It was one time back in the day, in the 70s, 80s, even the 90s, women wanted to get married. In today's time, you ask a woman, do she want to get married? She even say no now. So it's on both ends. The man don't want the responsibility and the woman don't want the hassle with the man. Nobody honors marriage. This is one of the reasons why we continue to suffer. This is one of the reasons why we continue to go through all the atrocities that we go through. So the Lord honors marriage. You wonder why our neighborhoods are the condition, or one of the reasons why they are in the condition that they are in? Because marriage is not honored in the so-called blacks, Hispanics neighborhoods. Nobody honors marriage anymore. But who honors it? God. And since we don't live godly, we in turmoil in our neighborhoods. Y'all understand that? Read it again. Uh, Hebrews 13 and 4. I'm going to pick off right where the brother left. Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 4. You black man, you Hispanic man, you want to know why one of the reasons your neighborhood is out of order? You do not honor marriage. Read. This is the book of Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 4. Yeah. Marriage is honorable in all. Who words are these? These are the words of the Most High God. He honors marriage. Okay? Read. And the bed undefiled. And the bed is undefiled, meaning whatever you and your husband want to do in the bed, long as it don't break the laws of Leviticus, is okay. Read. But whoremongers uh -huh. and adulterers. But whoremongers, men that sleep around, read. And adulterers, uh -huh. God will judge. God said he is going to judge that man. He is going to judge that woman. How? How is he going to judge him? What's your name again, my sister? Huh? Abby. Abby? Abby. What about you, sister in the back? Chanel. Chanel, Abby and Chanel. How the God's going to judge you if you sleep around? Give me that uh, Deuteronomy 28. I'm just, no, I'm not talking, this is so what, so you can understand, we're not personally talking about you, we're talking about a general statement. Like in general, not you, not you personally, but generally, but generally, how do God judge people that sleep around? This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 61. Also, every sickness and every plague. Hey, what is a, what is a plague? Can anybody tell me what is a plague? A sickness or a disease, right? Anybody agree? You agree, my sister? What is a, uh, is a plague, a disease? Come over here for a second. Read. Which, which is not written in the book of this law. So what are we going over? We are going on over how is God going to judge whoremongers and adulterers. He said every sickness and every plague. Read. Which is not written in the book of this law. Which is not written in a book of this law. AIDS. Can you find AIDS in the Bible? No. What about gonorrhea? What about herpes? What about blue waffle? Those diseases not written in this book. Read. Them will the Lord bring upon thee. What is the Lord going to do? Bring upon thee. Uh -huh. Until thou be destroyed. Until it consumes your flesh and you'll be destroyed. That is the judgment for sleeping around or for, for, or for fornication if you are not applying the words of God. If it haven't happened to you now, believe and trust it will happen to you sometime in the future if it have not happened already. So why are our communities destroyed? One of the reasons because we don't honor marriage. Now, what are some of the steps to getting married? Because that's what blacks and Hispanics must come back to. That's how you build a strong nation. Give me Sirach. Seven and six, or six and seven, which one is it? Prove a friend. Six and seven. Six and seven. So we're going to get the steps on how is a black man supposed to marry? How is a Hispanic man supposed to marry? God got everything mapped out. But what have we done? We have ran to the Christian church and have been taught lies. Because the Christian, the Christian church was set up by our oppressors. 
the, the, the Christian church was set up to keep the black man and the Hispanic man asleep and far from the scriptures of the Bible. All right? Hey, my young brother, what's your nationality according to the Bible? Abby, I want you to listen good, Abby. We're still dealing with you. We want you to understand what God got in store. My brother, what's your name? William. William? William. William? That's, a, that's okay, William. Okay, what about, what about the sister over here? Monica, 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 William, Mame. 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 Okay, what's your nationality? African. You gonna okay? You African American? So called? Haitian. Haitian. Okay, you'll be from the tribe of Levi. What about you, my sister? Ghana. Ghana. Okay, you you probably from the tribe of Judah. Okay, nine times out of ten, you from the west coast of Africa, so you might be a Judahite. All right, but listen to the steps that God got for you guys. Give me that. This is the book of Sirach, chapter six and verse seven. If thou wouldst get a friend, prove him first. So what are we going over? We are going over the steps of marriage, black man, Hispanic man, what you must get back to, to build up the nation. If you're tired of seeing your communities in turmoil, if you're tired of seeing us the last, hired, first fight, God got the solution. If thou wouldst get a friend, if you're going to get a friend, what? Prove him first. Do what? Prove him first. Do what? Prove him first. You must prove your friend before you, what, open your legs and lay down with him. Because every Negro out here ain't right in the mind. Some niggas just want to hit it and quit it. You understand? That's why God is telling you women and you men, prove your friend before you start to lay down with him. Because these, a lot of these sisters ain't right. You understand? You must prove them. Go through steps. See how they are. Read. It's going to explain. Read on it. And be not hasty to credit him. And in that proven process, don't be hasty to credit him or her. Meaning that don't be so quick to just, okay, he did that. Let's, let me go ahead and uh, bust it open like the brother said. Hey, my brother, where you going? Hey, give, give us good God two minutes. You love God? Right hey, sister, you love God? Right All right. From your mouth to God ears, read. For some man is a friend for his own occasion. So some man is a friend for his own occasion. Typically that occasion when they're talking about proving is just to lay down. That's the occasion he's a friend for. Once he get what he want, he out like a thief in the night. Read. And will not abide in the day of thy trouble. And when you get pregnant, he ain't gonna be there. So what that's called? Baby mama, baby drama. Baby mama, baby daddy, and guess what? You have an illegitimate child. Now, the child grow up fatherless, and he can't be raised properly because in order for a child to be raised properly, he must see the roles of mother and daddy. That's the, one of the reasons why our neighborhoods are so destroyed. No proper example is being led in the household. You understand? Read that part again. Verse 8, for some man is a friend for his own occasion. So some man, what we're going over right now, my sister, is marriage and how God honor it. And what happened and how we how we came how we become so low in society. One of the reasons why is we don't honor the marriage. But God honors marriage, okay? And since we don't honor what God honors, we, we, we low. We very low at a lower the state as a people. That's what we're going over with the sister. So I'm gonna bring you, I'm trying to bring you up to speed on what we're going over. You got questions? You ever heard of this before? Okay, my sister, you got questions. Yep. Okay, okay, we're gonna go over this. What's your nationality? You Hispanic? I'm Dominican. Dominican, Simeonite. So you'll be from the tribe of Simeon, sister. You are an Israelite according to the Bible. All right? What's your question, matter of fact? Why do men despise women? Men? Okay, you say, why do men? All men, I don't despise women. Do you despise women, brother? What about you? No, sir. So what are you talking about? Why do men despise women? We don't despise, we love our wives. We got, we, we, every one of us got one wife out here and we love her. I can't tell. You can't tell? Me. Give me Ephesians chapter 5. Let me show you something, sister. Five or something. I want you to listen good. What's your name, by the way? Woman is for man, man not for woman. Right. That's exactly, look. Listen up, though. What's your name, sister? My name is Jessica. Jessica, listen to what the Bible says. Read. This is the book of Ephesians chapter 5, verse 23. Verse 22. Verse 22. Wives. Submit yourselves unto your own husbands, uh -huh. as unto the Lord. For so it said, that's the first step. Wives, submit yourself to your own husband, as unto the Lord. Do now. I got a question for you, sister. Do do our women submit themselves in, the, in, in in marriage? In, society, in today's society, what? How, how how many do you see the woman in submissive to her husband in today's society? Nope. Nope. What about you, my sister? What's your name? 
Angela? Keisha. E Keisha? Keisha. Keisha. All right, what about you, Keisha? Do you see that? Listen up, sister. I wanna, no, I wanna show you. I'm answering your question. Don't do that. Hey, my brother, come forth. Hey, my brother, come forth. Listen up, read. For the husband is the head of the wife, uh -huh. even as Christ is the head of the church. Read. And he is the savior of the body. Uh -huh. Therefore, as the church is subjected unto Christ. So, and just as the church of the people or the nation of Israel, the blacks and Hispanics, how they supposed to be under subjection to Jesus the Christ, the black Messiah, read. So let the wives be their own husbands in everything. So let wives, so let wives be their, so let wives be to their husbands. Okay, read on. Husbands, love your wives. Do what? Love your wives. Do what? Love your wives. So this is a commandment from God. We must follow this, and the, and, the, and we must what? How we love our wives is by marrying them. That's the first step. But that, what we're going over is the steps to proving first, like we were just going over, right? How you, when you must get a friend, you must do what? Prove it and be not hasty to credit them. Once you do that step, now you gotta love your wife. Okay, read. And give himself for it. Just like Jesus Christ gave himself for the church, we must, as men, when we get married to our wives, we must also, if the occasion arrives and we have to give our life for our wife, then that's what it'll be. All right, this is the commandments of the Most High God. And the reason why our communities look the way they can look, the Dominican community look the way it look even over there in the DR. It's, it's bad over there. It looks bad over there. Why? Because they have, they have not, um, they not, they have not followed the commandments of God. They have not followed the Bible. My brother, you got any questions? I got a question for you. Are you married? That young lady you were just walking with, is that your girlfriend? But so you you understand you understand what God is telling you? God is telling you what? Yeah, to prove who she is and prove that like she's worthy of like the status of that. And then once that's proven, to give of oh, like a relationship and then give love to foster. No, okay. No, you miss one the key step. You gotta prove her to do what? To see if she's marriage material. Do you wanna make this girl your wife? You understand that? Because once you once you make her your wife, y'all are y'all are bond together, y'all become one flesh. So and this is gonna be for what? Forever. In the sense of in this life right here, once you marry her, that's a that's an agreement y'all came together with. Now you must continue that thing out and you know, go go through go through the all type of things y'all gonna go through as, in marriage. But the point is that you must marry the sister once you prove it her. You don't pose to lay down with a royal seed just with anybody, bruh. Give me that in Deuteronomy 76. I want to show you what God tells say about the so-called Haitian man, the, the, the Levite brother. I want to show you what God said about you, brother. I want you to listen good. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen me to be a special people unto himself. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Read it again from the top. For thou art in holy people. So the most high God is saying the so-called Haitian man, the black and Hispanic man, you are in holy people. Read. Unto the Lord thy God. Unto who? The Lord thy God. Come on. The God, the, the God who created everything. You are a holy people on him to him. Read. The Lord thy God have chosen thee. What did God do? Chosen thee. What have the most high God did? Chosen thee. So God, let me tell you, you can understand, God created every nation you see on this earth. It's 18 nations God created. Out of that 18, he said, I've chosen the children of Israel, which is the blacks and Hispanics, which equates to a Haitians that they call today, but God calls you from the tribe of Levi. Okay? You are a special people. He chose you out of everybody. That means, guess what? God sees the white man, he said, nope. I don't want you, you reject it. He see the Chinese man, nope, you neither. I'm, I'm giving you the terms so you can understand today. The Arab man, nope, I don't want you either. The African, the real Hamites, I don't want y'all either. But you blacks and Hispanics, come on. Out of all the creations I created, I'm choosing you guys. This is thus saith the Lord out of the Bible, read. Chosen thee to be a special people uh -huh. unto himself uh -huh. above all people. No, equal. All people. All man created equal. All people. God said you are above all the other nations on the earth. Read. That are upon the face of the earth. Who's saying this? Me? Am I making this up? No. What are we reading? The King James Holy Bible.
God said, you are a special people. You understand that? But the, what happened was, why don't we live like a special people? When you check out the black and Hispanic communities, it's in turmoil. It's waste. You, know, you understand what I'm saying? Everywhere you go on the earth, when you see our community, they call it what? The hood, the trap. You understand? If you go to, if you go to uh, New York, you see the blacks. Our communities, it's, 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 it's turmoil. It's bad. You understand? When you go to L.A., where we live at, it's all bad. Why we don't live like this if God telling us that we are the holy people? What happened? Huh? Oppression. Oppression, right? But remember the steps. So for an example, you see, who in the black community honors marriage? Is marriage honorable today in our communities? No, 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 it's not. You, the women now in our community don't even honor marriage. It was one time back in the day, in the 70s, 80s, even the 90s, women wanted to get married. Right. In today's time, you ask a woman, do she want to get married? She even say no now. So it's on both ends. The man don't want the responsibility and the woman don't want the hassle with the man. Nobody honors marriage. This is one of the reasons why we continue to suffer. This is one of the reasons why we continue to go through all the atrocities that we go through. You understand? So, but when, cause, cause guess what? You ever heard of a saying called, with great power comes responsibility. God calls us the greatest people on the earth and we have to carry his will out. But since we don't, that's why we suffer. I'm trying to show you why, right? But let's, give me that in second address, uh, six and 54. I want to show you how God feel about you compared to the other nations. And with this knowledge, I we, we praying that you change, understanding how God feel about you, my brother. And if you got any questions, we're here to answer them, all right? After, if we go through scripture upon scripture, if you got a question, give us, you know what I'm saying, so we can answer it. Give us a chance to answer it. Because I know things going to be going through your head. You got it? Yes, sir. All right. This is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 6, verse 54. Uh -huh. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures. So Adam, so Adam, you know, heard about Adam, right? Adam was the first man formed, right? Everybody know that common knowledge. Adam was the first man formed, read. Of him come we all. And all men come from Adam and Eve, read on. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. And the people who God chosen, who is that? What are they called? Levi, but what is the nation called? The Israelites. God chose the nation of Israel over everybody else. That's the black man. That's the Hispanic man. That's who God chose. Read it again from the top. And after these, Adam also, who now made us Lord of all thy creatures. So Adam was the Lord of all creatures because he named every creature living today. Adam gave him the name. Read. Of him come we all. And the people also, who thou hast chosen. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sake. Who was this speaking? This is Ezra, the prophet speaking. Guess what tribe he was from? He was a Levite. He was from the tribe of Levi. The same, he, this is your brother right here, right in his, in his Bible. You understand that this is your people. He said, all these things have I have spoken before you, O Lord. Read. As for the other people. Read it from that part. Uh, all these things have I spoken to thee, O Lord. Uh, all these have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. So the, the earth was made for your sakes. Who was, the, the earth was made for you. You understand that? So that means you are supposed, you are, by, na by nature, you are a ruler on this earth. Read. As for the other people. All of the other 17 nations, that means, guess what? The Chinese man, the, the white man, the Arab man, the 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 the, 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 the ancient Egyptians, all the other nations of the people, read. Which also come of Adam. Yeah, they come from Adam too, Lord. Read. Thou hast said that they are nothing. Uh oh, what did God say about the other nations? Read. They are nothing. God said the other nations outside of the Israelites are nothing to him. Read. But do, do that sound like everybody's created equal? Are these my are these my words? Or what are we doing? We reading out of the Bible, thus saith the Lord. You understand that? You got any questions so far? A little bit, but I want to keep listening. Okay, okay. read on. But be, as for the other people, which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing, but be like unto spittle. You know what spittle is? 
There you go. I'm glad you, you, you're praying you with me. He said, God called the other nations, said they be like unto spittle. Read. And has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. And you take all of them and gather them up, women, men, and child, gather all of them up. He said, there's nothing to them but it's like a drop that fall from a vessel. Meaning what? If you're going to go, if you're going to go mop the floor and a little drop fall out of the bucket, you're still going to continue the job, right? You're going to go mop the floor because that little drop was nothing. It didn't stop you from doing what the task that you had to do, right? That's what God is talking about. He's comparing the other nations to. Right. Read. And now, O oh Lord, behold, these heathen which have ever been reputed as nothing. So these heathens always have the reputation of not being nothing. Read. Have begun to be lords over us. Now they are lords over us. Meaning what? Now we go to them and look for a job. Now we go to them looking for education. Now we go to them looking for uh, 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 anything you want. You're gonna you're looking for these heathens to get to get to get to us. Anything you want. If you want what? What's name some things you might want? Job, education, job, healthcare. Healthcare. You got to go to them and get it now. What happened to us? We we was once the ruling class on the earth. What happened to the black and Hispanic man? Read. And to devour us. And they devour us how? By keep they got they got plots set up to where we they keep us impoverished, to keep us oppressed. Have you ever heard of the League of Nations? The League of Nations get together and counsel to see how ways to keep us oppressed. They come up with things, crack cocaine, push that in our communities. You understand? We don't own no ships, we don't own no major uh, distribution companies, but yet and still we get crack in our communities, we get guns in our communities, okay? These are the the, the things they sit down and do, they have think tanks, they sit down and gather ways to how to keep us oppressed. They said they have devoured us, and they continue to devour us. Why? One of the reasons why is because we don't honor marriage. Once we start applying that one little step, that, that's bringing forth solutions to problems that we face. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. 